but this is so transformational. It was the president. Our verse is strong. He's talking about this behind closed doors. Swear transportation. Swear transportation. On climate action, education, and health care. That's what they're starting to emphasize. You know, because they want to say, like, look, yeah, we didn't get what we wanted, but this is still something. Uh, the big issue for them, too, I think, is, well, you look at some of the polling, Parts of these bills are very popular when you ask people, do you like free schools, universal free schools, do you like this, for help to get it? When it's all packaged together, it sounds so expensive, it's so cheap, and people get a little more cleaner. The White House is already starting to figure out and starting to message what this will be like to sell it. All right, All right, Karen, thanks for the update on that. We'll see what happens. All the part. Hey, there you go. See you later. That is ABC's Karen Travers. Immediately, the, I started thinking of this because if Scott were to tell me, this, it reminds me of, you know, 1950s, I don't know, uh, my client coming over for dinner kind of thing. If Scott were to tell me, hey, I've got somebody coming over for dinner because I need to sweet talk them into whatever. Okay, so does it then immediately fall on us that, what, Scott's supposed to go out to the smoker and I'm supposed to pull up a bunch of sides and we put together this like fancy dinner or do you get it catered? Do you see Joe Biden in the kitchen making her Delaware and de delicacy? I don't know. I mean, it's weird. Are you going to the president's house? And all of a sudden now you're like, hmm, what are we going to serve, honey? That's where my mind goes. Let's get back to some of the stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I want to give you a little more information on that storm in Northern California. Thousands of people are without power right now after one of the first big storms hit the Bay Area. More than eight inches of rain from this atmospheric river, at least in my story, hit Marin County. You heard Kristen Stewart of the National Weather Service say she saw reports of up to 12 inches of rain. The city of San Anselmo in Marin County found itself at the center of the storm yesterday. Mayor uh, Brian Colbert, Colbert, maybe, says uh, while the city is expecting flooding, by early afternoon they realized they had to act quickly. You know, it was immediate. It was sort of like a, a flash flood. The storms have led to many road closures and flood advisories. Now, severe weather not only pummeled California, but it hit the Midwest, with parts of Missouri getting several reported tornadoes. One touched down in a town just outside Kansas City. John Duncan and his wife were about to pray in their home when he says they heard a tornado coming. We hear the high wind ripping the roof off and uh, stuff flying in the room. The hole appeared in the ceiling and, uh, and then it was over. He says the storm destroyed the back of their home and garage. A candlelight vigil has been held in Burbank. The cinematographer accidentally shot and killed by Alec Baldwin on a movie set. A crowd had gathered outside a local entertainment union building to remember the late Helena Hutchins. People held candles as speakers shared personal stories about the cinematographer. A friend of Hutchins, who's a producer in the industry, was at the vigil last night grieving. We were all very proud of her, her career of playing this Kai Rocket. People at the event expressed their frustration with what had happened, including actor Jeffrey Johnson. No. No project is worth uh, a young life like this. Hutchins was 42 years old in Burbank, Blake Trolley, KFI News. Now, police in New Mexico have released more information about the shooting on that movie set. ABC's Andrew Dimbert says a police report focuses on some key moments before it happened. Investigators say the prop gun was arranged on a cart by Hannah gutierrez Reed, the person in charge of prop firearms on the set. The report says assistant director Dave Hall handed the Colt revolver to Baldwin, saying it was cold, meaning not loaded with any live rounds. A projectile fired while Baldwin held the gun. Toby Bryan's widow says she pleaded with L.A. County Sheriff Dina Weba to secure the scene of her husband's fatal crash. After the sheriff confirmed the identities of Bryant and his daughter Gigi, Vanessa Bryant said in the deposition, Sheriff Dean Nueva asked her if there was anything he could do. She said he asked him to make sure no one takes photographs of her family. Please secure the area. He said, I will. Bryant is suing the county for emotional distress after deputies on scene admitted to taking photos of the site in 2020, though none were posted online or sent out publicly. The county's requested a psych evaluation of Vanessa Bryant to confirm her emotional distress is from the photo incident and not from the crash and deaths themselves.
Chief Gregory Cato by you. The LA Sheriff's Department is investigating an officer-involved shooting in Palmdale. Deputies went to a home over the weekend following a call about an assault with a deadly weapon. When they got there, a man who was hiding inside allegedly shot at them, and at least one deputy shot back. The man eventually gave himself up and was arrested. The Orange County DA is calling for more programs to help support the families of people facing low-level drug crime. Orange County DA Todd Spitzer says he's working on pre-filing diversion programs to help keep families from becoming homeless if, for example, the main bill payer ends up in jail. We may not even file criminal charges for people under the influence of alcohol or drugs who are committing low-level offenses if we can get their agreement to go into a program. At an OC Commission to End Homelessness meeting last week, Spitzer said he wants to be sure that before such diversion options are offered, that the county has actual programs in place. In Orange County, Corbin Carson, KFI News. And the LAPD says it's looking for a car thief who may have also become a dog napper. Friday right night about 7.30, the driver of a 2010 Orange Honda Fit was making a food delivery in the 1300 block of Douglas Street when he left the car unlocked and the keys in the ignition. A few moments later, someone took the car, but it had a three-year-old male Mastiff in the back. Okay, here's the deal. You're not going to miss a Mastiff in the back seat of a Honda Fit. I'm just saying. The dog is white. It has a black patch over its eye. The car was found a short time later, but without the dog. All right, we come back. We're going to talk with ABC's Jim Ryan. We knew this was coming, and now it's here, but I want to get the details on it. Have you heard of this delivery company called Wings? It's set to launch its drones in partnership with Walgreens to make deliveries. Just over three-pound deliveries to the northern edge of Dallas. So I want to find out exactly how all this works, and also I want to find out about the cost. And speaking of money, we've got your chance to win a thousand dollars coming up. But right now, let's see what's up with your drive on the five. South on side, there's a crash at uh, just approaching the 210 in Stomar. Crash involving a rover uh, car that's going down the right pillar in St. Saint Teletrek is currently on scene working on retrieving the car. Now returning to a stall that's in Santa Cruz, south down side of the 14th, just after uh, Place Street to Canyon Road. It's back in the second lane from the left, uh, you right up down up at Via Concessa. And there is a stall in uh, Rolling Heights on the 60 West Dome Stairway along the right shoulder. Okay, if I find this guy helps get you this faster. He's scoring from. As usual, this year for Halloween, I'm going to dress up as a devil. A uh, handsome devil. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morocco. Number five. Halloween freebie. Reward members get a light-up pumpkin necklace on Halloween. Number four. Trick, treat, win. Load up on candy and win up to $300 in free clock play when you earn 100 points on your reward cards to 31st. Three. Baseball's biggest games on Big Street. The whole world will be watching, and so will you, at Morongo. And the number two. Entertainment is back. Gift the King, November 5th. Robin Six, November 13th. And the number one reason. Rob Lowe, Chief Sweat, and Clint Black all this year. Go to MorongoCasinoResort.com to check out the full lineup. Morongo Casino Resort is box. Morongo, good time. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Is finding the right candidate slowing you down? Cut straight to your hired with Indeed. Their hiring platform makes it easy to attract, screen, and interview candidates all in the same place. To find your next great hire, visit Indeed.com slash credit. This is former Notre Dame quarterback Brady Quinn. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by DuckDuckGo. Dave Roberts told the LA Times he's hoping to work on a contract extension with the Dodgers. He has one year left on his current contract. Carmelo Anthony passed Moses Malone for ninth place on the NBA's all-time scoring list. Melo died of the Lakers, passed the Grizzlies for their first win. And Tom Brady became the first quarterback to reach 600 career touchdown passes. Brady had to get his record ball back from a fan after his receiver threw it into the stand. I just see Jordan. What is it that makes you uniquely you? Well, DuckDuckGo doesn't think that's any of their business. And frankly, it shouldn't be the business of any tech company. Protect your privacy online for free with DuckDuckGo. So what comes to mind when you think of your house? When you walk in the door, do you feel that sense of peace? 
that sense of protection. Don't you like to have that same experience when you're drinking a glass of water? That same protection and peace with your water? You would if you had a life source whole house water system. Every faucet in the house would give you convenient, safe, filtered, delicious water. And a life source water system is maintenance free, so no more filter changes. Say goodbye to those bags and those monthly exchange tanks. And if you're dealing with hard water, well, a life source system can help reduce your hard water problem. And life source water gets rid of the odor. That was one of the problems we had. It's, the water just didn't smell that great. It also gets rid of the taste of chlorine from your water, and it doesn't use salts or chemicals. And without the drying effects of chlorine, I'm telling you, you're going to notice softer skin. Your hair is going to thank you with every bath and shower. And with the Life Source Water System, you buy directly from the factory. Their team provides a customized water solution for your home. That includes installation and customer service support. The factory serves SoCal for over 37 years, and all the products are made in the USA. So call Life Source today and get full service and full confidence in your water. Call them at 1-800-334-5009. That's 1-800-334-5009. Or just visit LifeSourceWater.com. Life Source Water. Taste and feel the difference. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. You know, with energy costs rising and temps getting warmer and electric vehicles here to stay, I can't believe how many homes still don't have solar. Now, granted, there's a lot of misinformation out there, so my solar company, Sunlux, asked me to clear some of it up. First, solar doesn't cost you money. It saves you money. A lot of money. Second, it doesn't matter where your panels are made. What matters is who makes them. And finally, you hear about some system out there for $29.95, but that is not what is going to end up on your home. You know, it means something to me that all the partners at Sunlust left top-tier positions at other solar companies. Why? To do solar better. It's why Sunlust is an LG and Tesla platinum contractor. The best systems, the best battery solutions, the best service, the best warranty, and a solar company who is straight with you from day one. Hey, it's time for solar. Get started today at sunlux.com. That's sunlux.com, sunlux.com, CSLB 100374. We're planning a trip to Spain later this year. But our Spanish is... <laughs> pretty bad. So we're using Babbel. Babbel, conversation-based method, teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive, bite-sized lesson, you'll remember what you learned. There's no easier way to learn another language. Ahora, hablamos español. He just said, now we see Spanish. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Maureen says big stocking epic daily deals at Amazon. So now, she's free to become Maureen the Marrier. And with her brand new tableware, everyone's welcome at Maureen's table. All of her family, friends, even her neighbor with the pet. Hey, has anyone seen a ferret around here? Found it. Dig <laughs> into Amazon's epic daily deals. Spend the life with Mom Moore. Is your business growing? Bay Alarm Commercial Fire and Security Systems are designed to change as your needs change. So you're right for now and ready for next. Go to bayalarm.com to get protected today. ACO 28 CCL 880138. Let's get to know KFI's Employee of the Month. Congratulations to me. Thank you. Victor Wright. I am the producer of the Daily Dive podcast. I think the best part about working in radio is, for me, and this is audio, you can't see me, but no, I cannot work in television. Big glasses, sinus problems, I've tore a knee thing recently, so no, television is never in my future. Congratulations to Victor Wright. KFI's October 2020. 21 employee of the month. KFI AM640, more stimulating talk. KFI AM640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Welcome to what will be a wet Monday. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, and that is our top story. We've got this storm moving in from the northwest, the one that hit the Bay Area. Thousands of people are without power there. Now, we just talked with the National Weather Service. Kristen Stewart said, that, yes, it is the same, same storm that's headed our way, except it's going to lose a whole lot of power by the time it gets here. Still, though, 
We could see the rain heaviest likely in Los Angeles by about noon, then move out pretty quickly this afternoon. And officials say there could be minor mud and debris flows in the recent burn areas in the Santa Barbara County area, and they've already issued evacuation orders for areas within the Alisal Re uh, Reservoir in that area. Right now, it's your chance to win $1,000. KFI has your chance to win $1,000. Text the nationwide keyword, money, M-O-N-E-Y, to 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's money to 200-200. You know the drill. You'll get a call from a number you don't recognize. You'll look at it and go, oh, Sam. No, pick it up. Because if you don't pick it up, then your chance to win that $1,000 moves on to somebody else. And your next chance at a grand comes at 6.20 during Handle on the News. Right now, let's say good morning to ABC's Jim Ryan. So, Jim, we knew this was com coming. This delivery company, Wings, is partnering with Walgreens to make deliveries. But now it's coming right to your area. Yeah, it is. Uh, at, at a Walgreens store up in North Dallas, North Dallas, Frisco, and Little Elm are the communities where this is centered. It's the first urban test of this the technology. This kind of delivery service has been done in Australia, Finland, a little town in Virginia, and now they're bringing it to Dallas Fort Worth. If it works here, it's likely, in fact, undoubtedly will spread to other areas, and most likely including Los Angeles. Okay, so how much does it cost if you're somebody who wants a drone delivery? Yeah, yeah well, it depends on what you have to deliver. There are delivery service fees for this kind of thing, but considering that you don't have to get in the car and, and battle traffic, perennial horrible, perennial you know, awful traffic around here, it is no much, uh, no better in Los Angeles, uh, but you, you save that undoubtedly in gasoline. That's at least the selling point here. So you'll go onto the app, the Wing app on your phone, and you'll go through the list of available items, you know, stuff from the pharmacy, not prescription drugs, not things like ferritin D, nothing, no controlled substances, but other things, you know, the gift cards, food items, uh, drinks, this kind of thing that can be put into a, a container and then lifted up by this drone and carried out to your home within four miles of the Walgreens. And that's going to cover here tens of thousands of homes, apartments, businesses. And so it, I think they're hoping that this uh, becomes worth it. That they have to get special FAA certification to fly through the busy airspace around here. Environmental impact studies on how this might affect birds and butterfly migrations and this kind of thing. So there was a major hoop to jump through. Now these drones will be jumping from the store out to people's homes. I'm so glad you clarified about the controlled substances because that's yeah. immediately what I thought. When you think of a, a pharmacy, a Walgreens, you probably think of prescriptions or, you know, hey, I just came off a cold. And so, I, you know, all the bazillion things that I bought over the counter to try and remedy my cold. Those kinds yeah. of things flying through the air. And I thought, oh, but wait, I don't want my prescription dropping on somebody else's doorstep. No, you're right. Yeah, they, that's why they're being careful about that. And by the way, you do sound better this week. But <laughs> oh my God, yeah, you could you. have had a bottle of uh, Dayquil sent out to your house or a thermometer. Uh, yeah, the sorts of things that somebody would use in that kind of situation. Um, box of tissues. But uh, yeah, as long as it all, you know, aggregately weighs less than 3.3 pounds, it can be loaded onto this little uh, drone. It has 14 propellers. It's kind of a cool looking thing. It doesn't have wings. It has 14 propellers that hold it aloft and give it some stability and, and major control. It even acts, you know, it works pretty well in, in strong winds. So they'll have this thing up and running here within just a couple of months. So how does it actually work? Is there somebody back at the uh, Walgreens or something who's controlling this? And how do they make sure that it arrives on your doorstep and not in your uh, dog hole in the backyard? <laughs> Well, right. I mean, there's a whole staff of people at that store designated to run this specific service. They have what's called a drone nest, which is like a miniature helipad, and all these drones are lined up and ready to go, and it's essentially automated. You know, they'll, they'll punch in the details. The GPS will take the drone where it needs to go. The, the drone will then lower this container on a string or a cord down onto the surface, your lawn, your front step, whatever, and then retract the coil and head on back to pick up the next item. So somebody was, was mentioning this one about porch pirates. You know, they see these drones flying around. Why not just follow the drone to its location and wait there for it to drop it off and then pick it up and leave? That's part of the reason for the controlled substance issue, but also uh, within 10 minutes you're supposed to get this delivery, so you should be watching for it, maybe even sitting outside and, and watching it come on in. Make sure you do get it.
but within 10 minutes. That is fantastic. Yeah, I know. All right, Crazy. cool. Jim, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, thank you. See you later. That is ABC's Jim Ryan. That's pretty cool. How great would it have been last week when I was dying of a head cold <laughs> to have my Vic Vapo Rub and my cough drops delivered? Because, A, nobody wants to leave the house when you're sick, right? You don't want to go anywhere. But secondly, you look like something the cat dragged in when you're sick. So then you don't want to go to the store because you're thinking, oh my god, I don't want any of my neighbors to see me like this. But thirdly, you don't want to be the sick guy in the Walgreens either. You don't want to be the guy who's coughing. And I know you're wearing a mask and everything and you're trying to protect yourself and what, or protect others from you, that kind of thing. But you're still, it's so embarrassing. I went to get my COVID test. Who was the guy coughing in line for the COVID test? That was me. I, I've never been so... I'm apologizing to everybody in line getting their COVID test. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes, it was negative for everybody wondering. But I just... <laughs> nobody wants to be that guy. How great would it have been to have the Walgreens little delivery drone land at my house with the cough drop and then I could have gone and gotten in line at the COVID place. Thank you. There you go. And to all the people who were at the Rancho Cucamonga Sports Center when I went and got my test, I'm sorry, I'm that guy. I was the guy coughing. Okay. All right. When we come back, first off, we're going to talk with ABC's Aaron Kersky. I want to have him go over the FBI's new stats regarding the number of crimes against Asians in 2020. The number is up. But it's a little bit different than what the FBI was reporting in August, and there's a reason for that. But also I want to go over it with Aaron, is it that there are more crimes actually being perpetrated against Asians, or is it that Asian, the Asian community is feeling more comfortable coming forward, and that this level of crime has always been perpetrated against them? So I've got a couple of questions for Aaron. Then... I'm going to tell you about area codes, and this will be for if you want to call a local number in Southern California in certain areas, a local number now is going to require an area code, and probably the scariest portion of the story that I've got for you this morning, we've got not just a pumpkin shortage, but an alcohol shortage. I mean, really, Soren, what is this world coming to when those are the few things that you're looking for? I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, that's Halloween right there, right? Right. <laughs> so what's going on on our drive? Uh, there is a stall. Actually, stall has cleared. Good news in Santa Clarita. Southbound by the 14th. It's stuck to place your region Canyon Road. Here from the second lane to the left. So the right is still recovering from around Florida Canyon. And they're working on uh, retrieving a car that's gone down the right shoulder in Dayton and Stillmar. This is southbound 5 at the 210. I watch for delays approaching the 210, and the uh, 91 West is starting to slow out of Corona, so you see up uh, just uh, after Auto Center, these busy the Cole Canyon, KFI and the Sky help get you there faster, and so on Crump. Before I started Ruder Hero Plumbing, I was an angry young man. Hello, I'm John McClan. I was angry because my dad died when I was 17, and he left me alone. I was angry because I couldn't go to college with my friends and because I had to drop out of high school. It's not a pleasant story. But as I grew older, I also grew up. I realized that my dad didn't leave me alone. He left me with values and principles that continue to shape my life. Dad said, be on time. He didn't like it when people were late. He taught me to be polite. It was something I lost, but we captured along the way. And he taught me to keep my promises because broken promises lead to broken relationships. We teach and keep these values at Ruder Hero Plumbing. I think we have a pretty good company. I know we have great people. And if one of our heroes fails to live up to these values, please call me. My private number is on the back of every Reader Hero business card. You can also reach us at ReaderHero.com. Thank you. So, Cal, weather from KFI, rainy and windy later this morning. Highs will be in the 60s, and we do have a high surf advisory that starts at 11 this morning and lasts till 3 tomorrow. We need local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer jones Lee. Do you know what the three biggest risks are to your retirement income? Their taxes, health care costs, and inflation. Is your portfolio properly diversified to help withstand them? If you don't know... 
Call 833-PLAN-EFE right now. Get your free retirement review from Edelman Financial Engines. Even though you've spent decades saving and making good decisions on your own, you deserve the answers and peace of mind a professional financial advisor can give you. One of our experienced planners will see if your strategy has any gaps and help you protect against these risks eroding your savings and impacting your goals and your lifestyle in retirement. And you'll receive an integrated financial plan, an $800 value created specifically for your circumstances and needs for free. But you need to act now. Call 833-PLAN-EFE by Tuesday at 10 p.m. That's 833-PLAN-EFE. Or visit EdelmanFinancialEngines.com. Call now. Mark your calendar. Forever 21 is opening a new store at the shops at Mission Viejo. Join their grand opening event on Saturday, October 30th. Shop exclusive deals and get a free tote bag. Valid from October 30th. While supplies last, purchase to change without notice. See store for details. The Medicare annual enrollment period, well, it's now here. It's open. And navigating Medicare, that can simply be overwhelming. Why? Because every plan is different. They change every year and sometimes significantly. And you have a unique situation and budget. You're just different from your neighbor. AGA Medicare Options will compare most of the major plans at once at no cost to you. They'll help you find plans that are accepted by your physicians, cover your medications at the lowest out-of-pocket cost, and even if you're already on Medicare, or you're about to go on Medicare, set up a free benefit review from AGA to ensure you're still on the best plan or will be, and it's absolutely free. Dial pound 250 on your cell phone and say the keyword, My Medicare. That's pound 250 on the cell, say My Medicare, or visit agamedicareoptions.com. That's agamedicareoptions.com. American Vision Windows, SoCal's choice for energy-efficient windows and doors. AmericanVisionWindows.com. KFI AM640. everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. That is our top story. We've got a storm headed to Southern California that flooded highways, knocked over trees, and caused mud flows in some burn areas in Northern California. Now that storm headed our way with heavy rain and strong winds being driven what the National Weather Service calls an atmospheric river. And you've got some areas of Santa Barbara and Ventura counties today that could get up to two inches of rain. And the cinematographer who was accidentally shot and killed by actor Alec Baldwin on the movie set has been remembered at a candlelight vigil in Burbank. Hundreds of people gathered last night to remember Helena Hutchins and comfort one another. A separate candlelight vigil for Hutchins was also held in Albuquerque over the weekend. News is brought to you by 1-800-NO-COSH. Right now, let's say hello to ABC's Aaron Katursky. So, Aaron, we've got new numbers from the FBI regarding crimes against Asians in 2020. First off, uh, give us the numbers, if you would, please, but tell us also why these numbers were revised from what came out in August. Well, I think that there was some a problem with the reporting out of a couple of states, maybe Ohio and some others. Uh, so the FBI has revised the uh, annual hate crime statistics and found them that in 2020, the, um, the, the number of anti-Asian bias crimes totaled almost 300, and that's a 76% a jump from the prior year. So it's a significant increase that the FBI took note of, and it comes, of course, at the onset year of the COVID-19 pandemic and all the charged rhetoric in this country about its origin. That it came from China, and then people started to bash Chinese people and, you know, and, and then it turned into not just Chinese people, but anybody Asian, it seemed that they went after just because they thought, oh, what, they're responsible for COVID? I mean, it got ridiculous. I mean, bash literally, and, you know, the uh, Americans aren't always discerning about, you know, uh, among Asians, so you have this um, this increase, a 76% increase in, in crimes against people of Asian descent, and those are just the ones that are reported. Oftentimes, in in certain communities, the crimes go underreported. So the FBI, if they haven't already in, in LA, I'm sure they have, uh, they're, they're doing some concerted outreach to different groups to make sure that bias crimes do get reported. 
I know that they said a report came out last week in Los Angeles that said the total number of anti-Asian hate crimes reported within L.A. rose 76% and that in L.A. it increased from 25 in 2019 to 44 around the county. And then I wondered two things, but maybe our conversation actually answered my question, but two things. One was, were there actually more crimes against Asians committed or did the Asian community feel more comfortable coming forward to talk about the crimes that were perpetrated against them? I mean, I'm sure that there's there's increased reporting, but but I think generally that you know, given the timing, and, and the FBI certainly took note, you know, because of a, the the red arrow around the COVID-19 pandemic, I think this is just more crime, and um, and, and some of these, many of these are violent crimes, some result in death, uh, and and the, they they have a real psychological impact on the communities themselves because they get to you know, being attached for, the, for who you are. Nothing you can change about that. And um, and so the, the FBI uh, victim assistance folks that we talked to said it's a real psychological impact here beyond, you know, the physical impact of these crimes. All right, Aaron, thank you so much for this. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jim. See you later. That's ABC's Aaron Kapersky. All right, let's get back to some more of these stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. A Southern California business organization says studies show Women and minority-owned businesses have been disproportionately affected by COVID-19. Economics for Women says about half of small businesses started by women during the pandemic have been started by women of color. But Program Director Ruth Garcia Corrales says a lot of them have had to juggle childcare because of virtual learning. That means more women at home that need an extra income that are reaching out to us to create home-based businesses. She says a lot of women have been forced to quit their jobs or take on part-time work because child care centers have also been closed. A new report by the biggest patient safety organization in the U.S. says cloth masks definitely help stop the spread of COVID-19 among school kids. ECRI says evidence shows cloth masks combined with the social distancing and hand washing slow the spread of COVID in school settings. President and CEO Dr. Marcus Shabakar says if a mask doesn't fit right, it doesn't work as well. The key reason why we recommend cloth masks is that they um, come in different forms and shapes, which are better for children. It's just the fit is usually better than the standard medical mask, which have a standard size and often is way too big for children. He says the CDC, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the World Health Organization all support kids wearing masks. Did you see who have COVID? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran tested positive for COVID-19. He shared the news on Twitter, and he says he will miss in-person appearances because of the diagnosis. I haven't seen if he's asymptomatic, did he not know, was he getting tested uh, because he had these upcoming shows, or did he, you know, feel really sick from it? I don't know. I don't know if he's vaccinated or not. I don't have any of that information. All I know is that Ed Sheeran has tested positive for the COVID. Hey, I don't know if you've flown recently, but you know, for the last year or so, they've had those signs up that say you need a real ID by 2023, I think it is, if you want to fly. Well, now you can go, if you are a member of AAA, to the AAA office to get your real ID instead of the DMV. So they said on July 29th, this actually went into effect, and I, I don't think that I realized I knew that AAA handled a lot of different things you could go into the office for, but I don't think I realized that it would impact Real ID. They say currently appointments are about a week out. This is according to a spokesman for AAA. And they said that the interaction at the AAA branch with the GMB employee is approximately seven to eight minutes. They said it's important to go to AAA's website, carefully follow the instructions, which include uploading documents, to the DMV site to the then that information then to the AAA's real ID page is a third of the way down on the home page. But two things I will tell you. When you go to get your real ID, oh my god. They need every form of ID and if you're a woman who's been married and you've changed your name or a man for that case, you've got to take your proof of the name change and that your marriage certificate. I think that's what I took was my marriage certificate. 
But anyway, and they need your firstborn and a pint of blood. I'm kidding. But please go to the page and carefully go through every single piece of paper that you need. Because even if you go to the AAA office instead of the DMV office, you don't want to have to go back. You want to do it one and done, right? All right. Southern Californians with these four area codes will need to dial 10 digits when they make calls. So, no more local calls, just with the normal seven numbers if you are in these areas. The area codes 562-626-949 and 951 must all now dial 10 digits when you're making local calls. This started yesterday, part of a federal transition that will give the National Suicide Prevention and Mental Health Crisis Lifeline a shorter phone number. Now, the FCC designated 988 as the National Suicide Prevention and Mental Health Crisis Lifeline, and back starting July 16th, those in crisis will only have to dial that three-digit number rather than the current number, which they say is harder to remember. Now, the only problem is that 82 area codes across 35 states in Guam have seven-digit phone numbers in which the first three digits are 988. So, the FCC, if they hadn't required people with those area codes to use all 10 digits, someone could have accidentally called the mental health line while they were just making a local call. See the, what the problem is? So, now, if you are in 562, 626, 949, or 951, you have to dial all 10 digits so that you don't accidentally call the National Suicide Prevention and Mental Health Crisis Lifeline. That's the reason behind it. All right, and then the scariest story that I have for you this morning. Have you had trouble finding pumpkins this year? I will say, I, it's not that I've had trouble finding them. I just started thinking, hmm, I don't think I've seen as many of them. You know, normally you would go up in front of a grocery store or there'd be a little farm stand or something like that. And they were kind of a dime a dozen. You could get a pumpkin everywhere. Well, there's a shortage of pumpkins this year. Because drought conditions, they say, have made this farming season difficult. Specifically, this was a farmer named Joe Cate, who was uh, in this article that I found on Fox LA. He says, between the hot weather, weather, no water, and the smoke from the fires, the early hot weather all has hurt us. It's been a very rough year. Now, let's even put the drought aside. Let's pretend that there were plenty of pumpkins. Oh, there's also concerns with shipping. Because the national truck driver shortage continues to disrupt the supply chain across the country, so finding canned pumpkin for a traditional homemade pumpkin pie could even be a problem. I'm not telling you to go out and do a run on pumpkins and canned pumpkins. But if you're somebody like me, who relies on canned pumpkin and yams and all that kind of stuff for their holidays, I'm just saying we might want to go get it now. And finally, no booze. All right, not no booze, but how about a booze shortage? So they say disruptions related to the pandemic also have affected the global supply chain, specifically the port of Los Angeles, where shipping containers are just getting out there in the water, right? Well, they see that large food producers are warning some of their products could be limited in the fall and winter, and one of the things that could be impacted by this specifically is them. So they say we are not a food of people that are working through the supply chain, and that can be exactly the issue. So, when you're at the store, you can pick up your pumpkin, your canned pumpkin, your fresh pumpkin if you see one, and you can pick up your vodka along the way. But we need to get through the holidays with Uncle Sam and Aunt Mary. All right, we're going to talk about unemployment. You know, like the situation in California? Why am I going to travel to a different state?